Hey everybody, if you're new to this channel, welcome. Become part of the family by hitting that subscribe button right now. We're a family of seven and we love to travel. We try to travel as much as we can, whenever we can, and we record it, vlog it, and put it out there for you to share in the experience with us. One of these adventures we've just, just completed, and it was a drive from Cape Town all the way to Kruger National Park. That's 1,800 kilometers or 1,118 miles. It's like driving from Miami all the way to Philadelphia. I want to give a great big thank you to our sponsor for this trip. It was Pace Car Rental. They are an incredible car rental company to work with and it was so easy booking online and having them collect you from the airport when you arrive with your car already ready. They gave us an awesome 4x4 vehicle which was going to make our adventure even more exciting. Hey everybody, I'm super excited. I just collected our car from Pace Car Rental here at the airport in Cape Town. We are so excited to be sharing this adventure with you over the next few weeks. Guys, you gotta stay tuned, you gotta follow the travel vlogs, it's gonna be awesome. We're doing Cape Town to Kruger. It's gonna blow your mind, we can't wait. And the boys are so excited. They've never seen African animals before. We're gonna be doing safari. So, it's a good time to subscribe and become part of the family. So we started our road trip in the city of Cape Town, the mother city as they call it. It's a beautiful city. In fact, it's not that big, but there is so much to see and do. We took a drive through the Boer Carp area, which are these beautiful different colored houses on the side of a hill. It's really stunning. This area has become so Instagram famous. then took a drive up to Signal Hill to get a great view over the city and of Table Mountain. in Cape Town starts straight away. Look, here is the studios, the Cape Town studios, where they film Pirates of the Caribbean. Also the television series Black Sails. You can actually see the ship. Isn't that incredible? Now the highways in South Africa are really good and you can often stop on the Can't side of the me. road and there are these great ultra cities, they call them, where you can get gas and everything else you need. Cape Town is quite far from other cities in South Africa and so driving is certainly the longest way to get anywhere. But if you plan it right, you can explore areas along the way that you would probably not have access to if you decided to fly. One of these amazing areas is the Karoo, which is like a barren desert type area and it's just filled with the most beautiful landscapes. Okay, so we're staying in the Karoo. It is famous for its lamb and sheep. And we've got two sheep dogs here from the farm. And they are the most cute things. Show us your trick, sheep dog. Jack, move. Ready? Move, move. Yeah, wow. This one keeps trying to herd the babies. So people often wonder, when we're on the road traveling, how do we still get to put out videos? And it's very, very tricky, especially when traveling to places like South Africa or wild out there places where internet is not readily available. But this is basically my office when we travel right here in the passenger seat and we use the 
phone for 3G and try load videos. It takes a long time. It's not always easy, especially on bumpy roads when you try to use a mouse and everything. But guys, that's what we do because we love doing what we do. JP, show me your moves. This music. As soon as you start nearing the east coast of South Africa, you immediately start to see how things change. There is so much color, it becomes very green and very tropical. We made sure to visit the Moses Mabida Stadium and show our babies this beautiful, iconic stadium that forms an integral part of the Durban cityscape. Durban reminds me a little bit of Miami. It's got that whole vibe going and it has that Art Deco architecture that you will see throughout the city as well. Durban is a melting pot of cultures and color, from the spicy Indian food to the rich Zulu culture and the uber chilled surfer and beach vibe that exists in the city. to include Durban on a visit to South Africa, I would give it about three to four days to see everything that's worth seeing. There obviously are quite a few different attractions and things to see outside the city, and so you should give yourself a day or two for those as well. No, it's for the fish, not for you. <laughs> wow, look, they're going crazy. While we were in Durban, I remember that there was a T-Rex at the Natural Science Museum in the center of town. So I had to take my boys, especially JP, to go see the T-Rex. Presenting His Royal Highness, King Jacques and King JP. Hello, King JP. Holding the King T-Rex. Look up there. Dun, dun, dun. JP, look there. What's that? <gasps> I wanna see. I wanna see what's that? Scared, Jackie? It's not real, Jackie. It's not Jackie. real, Jackie. He's grinding his teeth. He's like, <sighs> don't worry, it's nothing, Jackie. <laughs> That's a big spider. That's a Japanese spider. Guys, look how it's in on head. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Oh, I don't know if you like to sit on it. Do you feel about my hand? Hmm. That's a type of a penguin 
But you see, the problem is when you throw your plastic into the sea, this is what happens. It hits the bird. What have you been doing? Smarties. Smart, those aren't smarties. You look like a goth kid. Let's see your face. Mm. Did you get all of mommy's makeup again? Face. My goodness me. <laughs> oh boy. I also figured this was a good opportunity to impress Louise. So I took her to the city hall for a classical music concert. For some of that high society. Durban to Kruger National Park, it's amazing how many various landscapes you're gonna go through. It just goes to show how incredibly diverse the country really is. doing that with my dad. He's an outdoorsman and explorer and so I grew up doing that and I wanted to share that with my baby boys who had never seen African animals in the wild before. I also think going on safari is a must-do life experience. It is a bucket list experience that everybody should do at least once in their life. Good job, wow what is that guys? Oh, there's the baby. Now the great thing about the Kruger National Park in South Africa is that it is so huge. It's the size of Belgium. And so there is so much to see in the Kruger National Park and you'd spend days inside there. Another great thing is that it is a self-drive experience. So if you don't want to go on the planned tour safaris, you can also take your own vehicle and take your own safari throughout the park. Sometimes going off the fastest route to see something special, it just turns your trip from a normal travel trip into an amazing, adventure. Thank you for watching our wonderful adventure from Cape to Kruger and thank you to Pace Car Rental for making this all possible. Guys, stay tuned. We have more videos coming up, plenty more travel vlogs out there. Great tips for you as well. Remember our giveaways. It's a good time to subscribe and become part of the family. Thanks for watching guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>